And welcome back to Mass Effect 3, Dark and Ran. Hello. Last time we ran over to the Turian homeworld and pulled out uh, our old buddy, Garrus, along with the newly crowned T Turian Primarch. And uh, a little bit of side questing. Mm -hmm. Now we have more side quests, along with... Uh, Taking care of some business on the Citadel. Yay! But while we're here in the Turian system, do we have to fuel? We don't really have to fuel for this. Never mind. We'll come back. Oh wait, they still have their depot intact. But wait, they're smart. I mean, what? <laughs> Quality of life right there, being able to just hold down the button. Yeah, that was nice. I almost forgot to set the progress on the tracker. <laughs> that would have been bad. So close. This is yeah. a big ass sun. I found something. Oh yes it is. That's a lot of arts. Oh. Destroyed oh. fuel depots. Yeah, I mean I guess they would be is a baking sort of Reapers. Yeah. Yeah. It's a way to cripple the tutorials, I guess. Yep. There's Pharos. Is an asteroid to towed near the Class B Blue Giant, Gime, to serve as terrestrial military base and a system devoid of planets. A vast array of solar collectors absorb energy from the star and beam it to receptors near the tidally locked asteroid's terminator zone. Beneath the surface, dozens of particle accelerators generate anti-protons for starship fuel. The Reapers sent hmm. a substantial force to Gime's system, but found the Turians were capable and prepared to defend their Armada's fuel source. Warning messages say the Reapers are still present in the system, awaiting reinforcements. At present, the Turians can refuel, but only because they committed forces here that could have otherwise defended Palavin. Yeah. I mean, understandable that they would commit more... so many forces here since it's, you know... It, it's, it's militarily vital, but... Yeah, it's... That's, Never an easy choice. That's war. Let's see what's in the system. Signal confirmed. Another destroyed fuel depot. That's surprising. Now, normally, doing that scan pulse will get the Reaper's attention, and eventually they will uh, uh, come to come to chase you down. And if you, they catch you, it's a game over, and you have to leave. The thing is, you know, obviously, you don't really know where stuff is, and the range is rather limited. And they mm. don't, and they will stay in the little system to chase you down until you go do a mission. That sounds so, annoying. Yeah, so I. Obviously, you've turned that off. When in doubt, what in doubt. Pretty much. What do we have here? And a hospitable world. <clears throat> to dextro amino acid based life. And was, until recently, it was famous for being decided the bloodiest battle in Turian history. During the rebellion, Kurgan Bones, a warlord named Kraken Dahl took the fight to Palavin's home cluster, bombarding the modestly defending uh, Digerus. When reinforcements came to intercept him, Dahl's navy put the rear to uh, Digerus. Digerus? I don't know. So that stray shots would hit the planet. The Turians oh. want, despite the severe handicap, using countless fighters and cruisers to take down Krogan dreadnoughts. Today, the Turian fleet holds it in a stalemate. The Reapers concentrating on Palavan and elsewhere sent a relatively light force to take the planet, which the Turians repelled. The Turians stand guard at Digerus while the Reapers travel throughout the system, destroying targets of opportunity until reinforcements arrive. Yeah. Yeah, the Reaper War is kind of unpleasant. Yep. And it's just getting started. That's the that's the worst part. Banner of the First Regiment. Hmm. That might be useful at some point. Yeah, you know, maybe. You know, 66 assets recovered, so there's still something out here. Oh, that's right. Okay. 
I figured we were scanning for a reason, but you know. I think, no, I don't have it, the game memorized on where everything is. I just didn't realize it was actually, you know, import that stuff and instead of just resources. I mean, the last one we scanned, we got a war asset. Yeah, that, hmm. that he realized that they finally went out. Maybe it pops up later, I don't know. This is weird. Maybe it's in one of the planets? It still would have popped up a signal. Mm hmm. Oh well, I'll come back and check later. If I remember. Fair enough. I've never done a 100% run. Well, there's always a first time. That's a lot of work. Anyway. Let's make for the Citadel then. Mm -hmm. Also, we've got some other stuff to do outside the Citadel. Like, we did agree to go to Beckenstein to uh, tell them to stop being assholes and help with the war effort. Yeah, that was a thing, wasn't it? Also, there's this. <clears throat> Flotilla of human ships hovers near Beckenstein, waiting just outside the range of surface defenses. While many of the ships are small, fast escort ships whose owners escaped Earth during the Reaper landings, others are transport and passenger liners that once ran between Earth and Arcturus. Beckenstein's authorities want nothing to do with the refugees and are broadcasting a message, warning that the uh, waiting ship, warning the waiting ships that their planetary defenses will shoot on sight should any refugees attempt to land. A few private individuals shuttle humanitarian individuals shuttle humanitarian relief up to the surface from the surface, but supplies are limited. Yeah, not even the Reaper War can stop greed. Yeah. Also, if you don't um, remember Beck you know, fear. Yeah. Also, if you don't remember Beckenstein, this is where Kasumi's loyalty mission was. Oh. Huh. You know, the heist. Yeah, the asshole rich guy. Yep. We've been here before. I found something. I wonder if he's still alive. No, we killed him. Oh, we did? Yeah, blew up his gunship. Oh. I mean, could have survived. No. Could have remote controlled it or something. No, he was oh. in it. <laughs> Alright. The negotiation is not going well. Colonial politicians are telling their fearful public that they will not make Beckenstein a target for the Reapers. And given their proximity to the Citadel, they are less reliant on Alliance security. They finally agree to turning some industry towards arms if the Alliance helps them hide the fact from the public. Virginia's negotiation team suggests you can either try again to persuade them that the Reapers will eventually come to Beckenstein, or agree to their terms and hide Beckenstein's support from the public. Hmm. And I don't know how this stuff plays out, because this is all from the Expanded Galaxy mod. Oh. Hmm. I'm pretty sure that persuasion is the better option, maybe? I feel like it's the right option at least. Then it is the left option, but not that much. Colonial leadership concedes that a Reaper attack is a possibility. However, it does not solve their short term problem with public opinion. Instead, they offer as a gesture, of to gesture a token force of colonial guardsmen. They still won't give industrial support unless the Alliance absolutely agrees to security of the colony. Udina's advisors say there's no way the Alliance can make such guarantees in a time of war. Especially with Earth lost and fighting an unknown force like the Reapers. Uh, your turn. <laughs> you want me to make this decision? Yep. Like, look, I can't make no fucking guarantees here. Plus four Paragon. I also just wanted to know how, what you would think because, I mean, lying was obviously the more a renegade beneficial option. choice. It's also, like, Alliance I do, I do stuff, but I don't want to lie. <laughs> you want to buy Maybe. requisitions from the Alliance? Sure, let's see what we can get here. Corsair, yeah. Corsair armor, operative armor. T5V battle suits, paladin oh armor, 
a lot of stuff. Heiser. What's the backpack though? Uh, bonus shields, ammo cap, encumbrance speed penalty, and more grenades, huh. which is useless for me. Oh, wait, those things useful. An extra. Oh. Some vehicles. <laughs> Vehicles. Including a hot hammerhead. Nice. Triton, a mech. I'm sure you do like that one. <laughs> Valkyrie, Falcon, Saber, Guard Dog, mech. Hmm. And shooting range targets. Nice. Yeah. So well, um, want to get a mech? <laughs> I want to save on, save money right now. Okay. But this is definitely right up my alley. Fair enough. I will take that. Can we get a vehicle at least? We will later. Uh, basically, the fifth fleet's operating here as basically a transport and logistical hub for Alliance forces. Ah, uh, yeah, makes sense. And supposedly also where Admiral Hackett is, if I had to guess. Hmm. Since he is supposed to be the fifth fleet admiral. Anywho, let's go check on Ash. We are transferring your docking clearance. Figures already wants us tagged and collared. Just our way of welcoming you back. Uh, yes, ma'am. Requesting docking permission. Docking permission granted. Would you like private transport arranged? I need to get to the hospital. Yes, Commander. Right. Also, the fact Thane's here. Yes, I know your stock of modified what do we have here? Low, but... No, you don't understand. This isn't for... Listen, I am a surgeon at Puerto Memorial on the Citadel. We have several alien patients here at this time, and we need... No, regular Metagel won't work. We need the modified version for better absorption. An alien Metagel formula. Dare hang up on me. This is a medical... Didn't we find one of those recently? Well, uh, yeah. I found this metagel. It was supposed to be used for like Hanar. Where did you find this? Yeah. Never mind. It doesn't matter. Yes, we can put this to good use. Thank you. Yay! Thane! Thane! Commander Shepard. When I heard Earth was under attack, I tried to call. I never got through. Thane. Good to see you staying in shape. My disease kills slowly. With enough care and a healthy lifestyle, it can be delayed for a few years. Of course, my allotted time has come and gone. Now I exercise because it pleases me. What are you doing here? Visiting a friend who got hurt protecting me. Ashley. The dark-haired human woman in intensive care. She will be starting physical therapy with my class soon. That's her. <coughs> if she means something to you, then I will help out mm -hmm. As long as she is here. Consider her under my protection. Nice. I appreciate it, Thane. I am near the end of my life. It is a good time to be generous. Kepral Syndrome has put most of my other plans on hold. Even if he might not be joining us, it is nice to talk to him again. Mm -hmm. Are you in a lot of pain? At times. The oxygen transfer proteins don't form correctly. Your human equivalent would be hemoglobin. As a result, my blood yeah. is low in oxygen. No matter how much I breathe in, I get tingling, numbness. And that is the best of it. As for my brain, I cannot track the damage. I just experience dizziness from time to time. You know how much time you have left? I've been to several doctors. My favorite gave me three months to live. Nine <coughs> months ago. It's freeing to find no requirements placed on me. No responsibilities. No fears. It is a good end to a life. How's your son, by the way? Yeah, we can't ask him about yeah. that for some reason. He's like, speaking of responsibilities. <laughs> I wish the best for you, Thane. And I for you. Do not grieve for me. I have good doctors. My son visits regularly. Oh, there you go. Perhaps we will keep up via the extranet now that you are free. Until we meet again, Shepard. 
At least we learned something about it. Better get in there. I think you just say the man was dead for an hour and a half and his political enemies piled on enough propaganda to get the hospital name changed. He can't remember his own name without the VI in his head telling him what it is. Trust me, in this building, we know dead. The Supreme Court says he's alive. Five justices say he's alive. Two of them appointed by him. The name is what it is. I used to know to deal with this. But it's like... I don't know. Who would you That's, side with? Uh, I need more details, Tanta. <laughs> it's somewhere here in the codex. Uh, probably random facts and lore, maybe. I love there's just categories called random t facts and lore. Several categories of them, in fact. <laughs> yeah. No, not that one. Okay, maybe it's in this one. Down here? Nope. Get off. Shut up. Uh, Citadel. Maybe? Waiter, waiter, waiter. Companies, maybe? I swear it was. Somewhere in here. And you, like, talk to them to learn more? No. You just side with one of them and they, uh. Like, I was just reading about it the other day. That's what's bugging me. Yeah. Like, like when I was just, I got bored, so I was reading through this codex. Did I pass it in here somewhere? Yeah, but now you're looking for it. Yeah, that's basically it. And even worse, you're in a let's play. <laughs> I hate that you're correct. Stop being correct. Carriers, female slaves, compact. No, it's got to be in this major one. We know her. Like right, the fact that we constantly want to punch her in the face, we can't. Oh, yeah. Incorlac, Jodenball, Bartle, Nita Goyle. Oh, she's from Andromeda. <coughs> oh, yeah. Blasto, the Hanar Spectre, so to speak. <laughs> uh, am I just blind and not seeing it? Um. Like, what the fuck? I, I mean, I'd like to help, but... Uh, maybe, it's, maybe it's actually in the regular codex. There's a lot of codex okay. stuff, you know. That's a word for it. Uh... Fuck. There's so much stuff, and it makes it hard to find anything. When humanity no, I doubt it's in this voiced one. Uh, okay, no. Organization? No, I just opened that one. I'm dumb. I have no idea at this point. I... Mm -hmm. I feel dumb. Uh, Don't worry, I it's a common feeling. But I'm not. I s fucking swear it's in here. 
What you're reading is wait, 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 wait. There is Ford versus Wait. I was just fucking bl fucking blind. Yay! <laughs> so, President Hoyta of basically the United States <laughs> suffered a stroke that let him left him dead for 90 minutes before his brain functions were transferred to a computer. Uh, they never said how much his memory was degraded afterward, however. Uh, and the Hoyta administration insists that he was more than competent to hold his title for president. He kept his post for more than a year after when Lisa Ford, Speaker of the House, uh, brought charges up saying that he, uh, he should be he should have been illeg illegitimate after the stroke. Uh, she argued that since she was declared dead for at least an hour before he was transferred, everything that Horta did as president after that was Ill illegitimate. Thus, according to her, she should have been a vice president for the last year, and the vice president should have been president. In other words, <clears throat> in other words I should have been president then. Uh, the case was handed over to the Systems Alliance, um, and what followed was a, a whole lot of courtroom bullshit to determine if he was still the same person before and after. Um, ultimately, a 5-4 uh, in, in, um, in his favor was declared uh, and prompted a lot of protests. So bad! That the woman who started the whole thing came out herself to condone some of the extreme uh, uh, stances people were taking. Well, well, con yeah, not condone, condemn. I'm bad. Well, yeah, that's free publicity. <clears throat> uh, and the, but so yeah, some went so uh, so far as to rename a hospital Huayta a memorial to spite him. So basically, do you believe? Uh, and do, do you do you think it was kind of a dick move to call this place Hoyton Memorial to spite him or not? Yeah, kinda. Our definition of seriously, guys. No matter how much you hate someone, things like death threats and stuff, and however you classify this thing as, it's not right, guys. Okay. In other words, they agreed to have the name changed because someone bought them a whole lot of um, equipment. 90 million credits worth, but a whole lot of equipment nonetheless. I mean, that is a lot of money. I will agree to it just on the, on the terms that it, that it ends up saving many lives, which it... Mm. Grissom Academy. We got a side quest there. Hmm. I'd like an answer, Lieutenant Commander. The galaxy has need of exceptional soldiers like you now more than ever. I still need time. You'll have my answer soon, I promise. I look forward to it. Shepard. Adina, I got your email. Made your decision yet? On becoming a Spectre? Not yet. It's an honor and all. But I don't know. I need to think about it some more. It's a big decision. Smart to give it some thought. Here, I picked this up for you. Figured you had some downtime. Thanks. That's sweet. I've been climbing the walls. How are you doing? Good, considering. The nurse said you checked in on me earlier. Still out cold, I guess. We didn't have time to talk. I thought maybe if you were up for it. Yeah, I wasn't sure you wanted to. You were pretty clear on Mars about where things stood. What do you mean? You're not a part of Cerberus anymore. Case closed. Full stop. It's the truth. Okay. You cut all ties. I accept that. It's just that if you're giving me orders, I need to be able to count on you. That works both ways. It's a damn mess out there. All we've got is the people around us. We have to trust each other or this doesn't work. Deal? Deal. Okay. Get some rest. If you need anything at all, let me know. Shepard, wait. There's one more thing. I wasn't sure if I should mention it. What is it? I have family back on Earth. I... I haven't heard from them. It's making me crazy. But I know you're busy, Shepard. We can talk later. 
I've got time to talk. Technically, we don't, but sure, let's talk. <laughs> I didn't hear from you while I was a guest of the Alliance. I couldn't face you, even when Anderson requested my presence. It was difficult. It's okay. We're past that. Fresh start. It's gonna take time. Copy that. But not too long. The bad guys aren't taking coffee breaks. Okay, okay, what is this? Healing through guilt? Seems to be worse. <laughs> <laughs> Who's back on Earth? Mom plus my three sisters. The youngest, Sarah, was away on her honeymoon. Married a military man, Thomas. He got called back in and she was stuck alone. She called me. It's been pretty tough. I imagine. I was always there to protect them growing up. Even when I was off on tour, they knew they could talk to me. I told her to come to the Citadel. We could wait for news together. Have you heard anything about her? We have reports coming all the time on what's going on. Half are wild speculation. And half are probably too optimistic to be true. <coughs> we have to believe that we can do something. When I thought you were dead, I lost hope. I'm telling you. But when you came back, I was ready to believe anything. I mean, maybe this problem can't be solved by some grunt shooting the boogeyman in the face. But if you think it might help, I'm game. That sounds more like the Ash I know. <laughs> and I mean... We're still going to be shooting a lot of boogeymen in the face. So, what's all this Lieutenant Commander business? Seems like the old Williams curse is losing its grip. Was sure I'd top out at gunnery, Chief. You've worked hard. You deserve it. I thought so, too. Until Eden Prime. Losing 212 was... Well, you know. It was the Reapers, Ash. You did the best you could. And survived to help us. Just losing everyone under my command, it's, it's tough to face. I'll never forget any of it. Right now, we need you back on your feet. I'll be back. And first order of business is to shove their metal tentacles right up there. Uh, I mean, <laughs> I'll fight with honor and courage, sir. Roger that, LC. Sure. I mean, don't, don't. Don't forget that that first idea. I kind of like where you're going with that. We I don't know if they even have access. If we plan I'll on getting make proven, one. We need to trust each other. I was keep, to keep the family stuff keep making a horse to shop their own tentacles into. How you managed to keep it all together? Pretty much. I have my moments. Believe me. You know, I'm glad to hear it. Eh, that's everything. I should get back to it. Take care of yourself. You too, Shepard. All right, are there any other little discussions we can pipe into? Hi, Doctor. Didn't expect to see you again so soon. Well, we need to prescribe you another round of antibiotics. For when I ship out? I have some bad news. Your squad applied the Metagel correctly, but infection had already set in by the time they found you. I'm sorry. I'm afraid we have to remove your leg below the knee. What? Uh, I, I, I don't understand. It doesn't even hurt. It would if we took you off the painkillers, Lieutenant. You can replace my leg, right? Yes, but clone tissue replacement takes months. You'll need a prosthetic. Oh, no. I highly recommend talking to our resident psychiatrist before the operation. Okay, I need surgery. Yeah, we don't really have the time for clone tissue, huh? <laughs> Can't I need everyone out there? Once we remove the leg, we can't install a prosthetic for at least five weeks. I told my squad I'd fly back next week. I'm sorry, but that's impossible. I'm not sitting out this war in a bed. Lieutenant, listen to me. If you go back with a missing limb, you'll just be a burden to your squad mates. I'd never drag down my teeth. Then the greatest favor you can do them is to rest after your operation. You need me to slice my leg off? May I recommend an hour with our psychiatrist? Even with modern treatment, losing a limb is traumatic. With all due respect, Doctor, you won't know until Cerberus tears up one of your legs. 
Yep. I mean, he's got good reason to be upset. Yeah. And it's bad enough we're fighting a war against the Reapers, but then we have Cerberus added into the mix. Yeah. Like, from bad to worse, much. Right. So, let's start with the embassies. Because that's gonna. Because that quest is gonna send us all over a goddamn place. What do we have here? Mostly just Jundamal. We can also talk to um, Udina and Bailey if we want to. So, Bailey. I mean, Udina has some stuff to say as well. Yeah, I just don't like him. I mean, nobody does. Uh, but to sum up a lot of what he says, uh, after the destruction of Arcturus Station, uh, which is where most of the Systems Alliance chain of command was housed, he's basically the highest ranking um, military officer left, so to speak. Fuck. He is well aware of it, and well well aware of he's not exactly the person for the job. And he, like, I think I think he says this is a word of that much. I, I think he says something along the lines of uh, he would have loved to have this position, but not like this. Um, I don't know. And, like you can ask him about if he knew a lot of people on Octurus, and he said he knew enough to to require a VI to remind him of their, their birthdays. I mean, okay. he's human too. Yes, yeah, that sounds like that was a lot of people then. And like he's an asshole, but he's still with us. Commander Shepard, John Dumba, special yeah. tactics and recos. I've got intel suggesting that high-level Hanar officials may be indoctrinated. That's a damning accusation. What have you got? Evidence of an Alliance Black Ops team raiding a Batarian research station. The Batarians were studying Reaper technology. The Batarians have Reaper good. technology. The Alliance raid turned into a massacre, and the humans ended up with nothing. Your people faked a power failure to hide the incident. The Batarians would have gone to war if they found out. But how does this implicate the Hanar? They maintained discreet gray market trade relationships with the Batarians, and led the Alliance to the station. We suspect those Hanar operatives escaped with Batarian tech. If your reports on the Reapers are accurate, they could already be indoctrinated. What's your source on all this? It was an anonymous gift, but I believe it came from a thief named Kasumi Gota. I've been after her for years. <laughs> Kasumi, you're hunting a thief? A master thief. Her intelligence and skill are almost Solarian. I'm it's sure she's like really know. afraid of the inspector <laughs> who's chasing her down. I only need her data. I admire her personally. And since she sent me this, I assume her feelings are mutual. What do you need me to do? The Hanar operative is now a diplomat on the Citadel. I don't have a public name, and the Hanar will go to ground if I make a formal inquiry. So we're hunting. I'm tracking suspicious transmissions to the Hanar homeworld. I could use your help. Let me see what I can dig up at the Spectre office. Thanks, Shepard. And for the record, not everyone doubted your concerns about the Reapers. I just hope we're not too late. Hmm. So, remember when you helped me get KG's grave Whoa, on that's Jonathan different. Hall, the one with information that could start a war. Information like an Alliance Black Ops raid on a Batarian research lab? I figured it wouldn't hurt to leak it now. Especially if there really is an indoctrinated jellyfish out there. Crazier than usual. If you don't mind me tagging along float, maybe I can help you dig up some dirt on the Hanar. I'd appreciate it. So, I've never seen her wear that. That's clearly a mod. Because <laughs> she shows up wearing her usual outfit. She looks nice. Yeah, and I can finally get to see her face clearly for a change. Yeah. Oh boy, what do we got here? I mean, it did surprise me for a moment, but I also took like half a second to recognize it anyway, so... <laughs> Colonies... Here's a list of every known colony known to surrender during the past 44 galactic standard hours. Let's see, Eesh. two human colonies... Three human colonies, three Turians, and a Batarian colony. Most colonies are willing to either evacuate or fight back against the Reapers. Situation will get worse before it gets better. No shit. Cold storage supplies. As the war spreads, it will not take long for there to be a shortage of basic supplies such as food, water, and medicine. 
Many fronts are already in dire need of resupply. Emergency stockpiles and medication reserved for dextroamino aliens were sitting in cold storage warehouses on Tessari Ward. Spectre authorization would allow these to be put out to use on the battlefield immediately, keeping Turian Marines alive but limiting future application. What do you think? Hmm. The thing to remember is some of the situa- some of the th- decisions you can make here can benefit one thing, uh, but ha- harm another, or seem like they benefit, but end up just causing harm. And I don't remember if th- what which one this does. So make your decision. Out the dice. Authorized. If they are needed now, we can use them now. <laughs> Discovering Minister Septimax's position proved surprisingly easy. His surrender on the first day of this war stung the pride of the local Turians who were more than keen to give him up. Uh, by using miniature duct crawling drones, was able to deduct his exact position. Audio recordings were taken to uncover the nature of his betrayal. Listening to them was disturbing. He frequently re- referenced the divinity of the Reapers. I've leaked these recordings to the hierarchy, and their pragmatism should neuter future propaganda broadcasts to the colonies. Completed the mission by collapsing the building on top of him. The manor is not important, and his death has been confirmed. So, hey. so when this, you know, this, so we got this one a while ago about him. This is resolution. Pretty, pretty nifty stuff. You know, like makes it seem like there's actually other people fighting this war. And Hanar tracking. So let's figure out what the big stupid jellyfish is up to. So you approve of Bao? Absolutely. He's a good specter. The galaxy needs more like him. And the fact that he's trying to arrest you? Wrong. Okay. Yeah. There's a terminal, probably over here, if I had to guess. Yep. What do we got here? Bob, I have some possible hits. Got some strange money transfers on Balone, and Alun is sending a lot of data. Balone's clean. His money transfers are to support his mistress. Not sure about Alun. I'll pull his bio. I'll check Alun's personal records and pull his recent messages. You know, if Bao catches up with you, I can grant you immunity. What? If I join up? Last time I did that, you wrote me into a suicide mission. I didn't say you had to join up. You were working your way around to it. I fully understand the situation. Of course I read through the names of the dead every day, but... Please! Please, a few more minutes of searching could mean a lifetime of peace for my family. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Someone in your family is MIA? My son, Balaam. And bureaucratic compassion seems to be in short supply. I am Ambassador Dominic Osoba. My son's squad returned from their mission on Benning without him. I found them drinking, but they won't even look me in the eye. I can offer a bounty for any information. If Balao's alive, we want him home. If he's dead, then... then we can begin to mourn him. If I find anything, I'll let you know. Thank you. Either way, you will set my mind at ease. Just another case of the war making life difficult. Mm-hmm. Right, so the next stop will be... Not there. The stuff spot. Pretty much. The docks holding area where Garrus is also hanging around. Exactly, the stuff spot. <laughs> You're a lot of help. So, mm-hmm. next time. This where you put, this where you put a lot of stuff, right? Oh, hush you. Anyway, next time, more uh, side questing on the Citadel. Yay! 
Laters. Bye-bye.